Welcome to Overcoming Daily Channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon and click on the option all notifications so that you never miss out on any of our video uploads. May God Almighty bless you and increase the work of your hands in Jesus name. A believer who refuses to receive the spirit of fear that is the believer that will weary Satan to victory. Literally. That you can weary the devil with your convictions. That regardless of what happens around you, you can stand in faith and say, My confidence, Lord, more than ever, I trust you. More than ever, I love you. More than ever, I will follow you. As for me and my house, When a husband loses his job in one day, by the next month, the wife loses her job. By the third month, the child loses admission or something. And three of them are seated with a Bible in the midst of them, full of many promises. And then they do not know what to do. Let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. At that time, heaven is watching, even as hell is also watching. Those who will not curse God because of their pain. If your pain will make you curse God, you are small. If your pain makes you curse God, you are weak. If your pain makes you curse God, your foundation is not deep enough. Are we together? Job's life kept being manipulated so that he will find offense in God. Even his wife said, look, Mr. Man, this is too bad. Curse God and die. Curse God and die. While I was still preparing this note this afternoon, one of our precious ladies in the worship team woke up this morning preparing with her colleagues to celebrate the faithfulness of God tonight only to receive a report in a year of extraordinary fruitfulness that your father has died are we together now yes there is a couple I don't know if they were able to make it here but I'll be very impressed if they made it. The devil has attempted to challenge the husband and the wife again and again and again. And that man of God in his resilience, he said something that touched me one time while we were talking. He said, I will never be discouraged and I will never find fault in God. God is faithful. This is the language that moves heaven that the devil says can't you curse god are you blind you still maintain your integrity and say god is alive i got so many text messages from our young ones who wrote jam apostle i've heard you change people's jam this is what i got this is what i want to get pray and they send sometimes more than 10 times that text I believe I will die believing God is a miracle worker. But the question is, what if it does not change? <laughs> you don't like this part of God. What if it does not change? What happens to you when your expectation does not come to pass? What happens when what you saw in your vision does not manifest physically? What happens when God tells you by March you are a millionaire and by March you don't even have a job? Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You are eating this bread because the journey is far. Man of God, what happens when you start ministry with a lot of zeal? Assurances from financial partners. Just start, we are here. We believe in your vision. We will stand by you to the end. Four months, they say we've tried. Don't come near us for that rent again. I confess to you, my brothers and my sisters, that life can be very trying. Life can be trying. 
to the point that even Jesus would cry at Gethsemane and say being in the flesh I thought it would be easier but now I've carried the burden of men and even as the son of God I confessed that men are trying surviving the betrayals and the pain surviving the nakedness and the shame now alone praying in Gethsemane Jesus wept prayed till his tears became like drops of blood is God blessing you today there is a reason behind the attack that has come is currently on you or is on the way coming let me tell you this <laughs> there are many believers who convince themselves that they are not creating any trouble is the reason why they never get serious with God because they hope that the devil will be busy attacking the Joshua Selmans who are causing trouble don't practice the foolishness of Esther Mordecai told Esther that this plot is for all of us it's just broken in faces Phase one is for those outside the palace, but phase two will catch up with you. For as long as you have named the name of Christ, let me tell you, you have made yourself an arch enemy to Satan, and he will come. I assure you, Jesus is fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. He's done fasting and the first personality he meets is Satan. And hear what the Bible says. He departed for a season. For a what? Season. That means I'm coming. I don't mean to scare you. But I'm opening you up to the reality of living. He's coming. It's not only God that is coming. Maranatha is not just for God alone. Satan too is coming. Satan, just like faith, cometh. Is it not in your Bible, the thief cometh? He doesn't have to be invited. The thief cometh. To every family, he will come. To every ministry, he will come. To every life, please hear me, he will come. Oh, apostle, I've been enjoying my life. Everything has been wonderful. Keep going. Keep going. The world is not too large for his presence to reach. Satan is an expert in mobility. He testified his expertise in mobility before God. Where are you coming from? He said, from to and fro the earth. That's not a problem. I can voyage as many times as it will take to meet you. He will come. Let your finances begin to glorify God. He will come. Let your children begin to glorify God. He will come. Insult me today and thank me years later, but you must listen. Let your ministry begin to glorify God. He will come. Hmm. Let your life begin to glorify God. He will come. Let your home begin to glorify God. He will come. I think it was last week or so, I had the opportunity to counsel a couple I could not believe when they told me the antecedents of their marriage and the level of of love and passion and friendliness they had I could not believe that a couple who were disbonded today would be looking for a divorce I said what, what was so bad that you want to go out man of God I've said my own we didn't come here to debate it's a conclusion we have made I said take it easy there has to be a way. Hmm. Life, ba. If you don't know God, one day you will sit down on the road and say, before life kills me, let me kill myself. When you see people do foolish things, don't think they were born foolish. Are we together? When people go and buy this rat poison, what they call it? and add it to rice and turn it to eat and die they are not stupid people there is a way life can push you huh as a lady when a man has done your traditionals has done everything the invitation letter has come out 
and then he just looks at you and casually says i don't feel like doing it again because somebody told me you are a witch go and tell your father they can go with the dowry i'm gone at that point you would think you would smile and say oh no problem what is there god told you to live my life you, you will cry and not know what direction to turn to it is true that life can push you it is true that life can challenge you recently i had a conversation with a man that broke me i was going to pray for the man true story and the man looked at me and said apostle let me finish the story he said as i'm talking to you right now my beloved wife is in the mortuary i don't even have the money to go and bury her i'll not mention tribe but he comes from a region where burial is not something that comes easy and the man was just smiling i said your wife is dead he said yes sir dead my wife i stood before everybody to exchange vows we agreed to grow old together now she's gone you think they didn't pray to raise that body back the guy i'm talking to you is a born again and tongue talking christian what happens you see i've been to the mortuary many times my brothers and sisters as a man of god you can imagine what happens when people die i've been to the mortuary they have closed me and left me with dead bodies in a mortuary alone why because they believe i'm anointed and i believe i'm anointed and i stood before a dead body that would not listen to me wake up in the name of jesus and the body is looking this is the reason why people worry let me tell you something about worry um come promise or anybody come do you know i'm talking about a number of things today but i just i just felt to start out with this if this guy is dying of stress worry because that's what is happening to some of us that's what is happening to our families people move around frowning their faces no joy no peace no favor you ask them why and they will tell you look life you know how life is and they think it is an excuse are we together now listen let me teach you something very powerful hold on mike do you know why people worry the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership they have an understanding that until they own a thing and they feel the security of that thing around their life their life is not guaranteed so they worry are we together now yeah they worry if i transfer one million naira to your account now and all of a sudden you start dancing watch this you are dancing because your phone showed you a figure are we together now watch this five minutes before that alert god already told you i will bless you but you are still saying oh god i, I know while god was speaking you know that money was still available but because it was not within your possession you are disturbed about it let me tell you something when you learn to hand over your life to god are we together worry will die a natural death which of you by worry in the bible says can add one cubit to his head you see someone of 20 years looking 45 you ask him why i say why won't i worry won't i eat now does the worry bring food one thing i know that does not add anything to your life anything at all to your life is worry it causes stress causes pain makes you to get angry you can just see someone looking blessed and happy and say so why is he smiling just because you are worried are we together say i refuse to worry prophesy to yourself i refuse to worry who knows probably this is already a word for someone you are killing yourself with too much stress people are sleeping in the night and the bible says he gives his beloved sleep you have refused to receive it you wake up and sit down and you are just thinking my life 
Is this how it will be? See, those kind of thinking are not scriptural. There's nowhere in the Bible that is recommended that people should wake up in the night to worry. You wake up to pray, you wake up to study, you wake up to dance and rejoice before God. The Bible says this. It says, um, rejoice in the Lord always and again, in case you've forgotten, I say rejoice. Are we together? Turn and speak to your neighbor and say, worrying will not solve it. Tell them, try rejoicing. try rejoicing. One more time, say, worrying will not solve it. It doesn't matter what the problem is, worrying will not solve it. So, try, yes, you try joy. Joy is not laughing like a clown. Joy is a settled, a settled um, confidence, a sense of merriment that comes from understanding that the person you submitted to is responsible very responsible are we together you don't take the part that is your own and the part that is god's own and join and kill yourself his load is not your load he gave you the your own part of the deal according to your size don't ever wonder how things will happen the bible says the same way you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so you do not know the way of the lord in other words you don't know how god will make it happen it's never your business your business is to know that god said it i believe it i will no 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 no. that doesn't settle it that doesn't settle it i believe it i act because i believe it by acting i commit his integrity then it settles it see you don't say i believe it and it settled it how many people have had their lives unsettled because of the of course i understand that those who say it say it from a very fair point believing does not settle it at all forever oh lord thy word is settled where not in your life it takes faith to be settled in your life hallelujah so don't wait until you see things before you are confident right now as you are seated here god is already speaking to someone to bless you but if i say it you won't believe it until you see an alert if i say god is touching you now you won't believe it but when somebody shouts and scatters a chair you say wow something is happening here it looks like it is powerful but it's carnality you must rise to a level where you are governed by your confidence in god's word you understand manifestations are wonderful but if i tell you god is going to bless you and you okay where is it the Bible says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -mm, not just life. Life and what? That's why people worry. It's no peace. No peace in their lives. I will never, never worry about anything. I think, I plan, I take responsibility, but not to worry. Worry does not solve anything. Worry is a sign of unbelief. In fact, truthfully speaking, worry is sin. Are we together? Yeah. What is sin? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying you should. Uh, are we together? Because this one, you are not missing the mark. This one, you are disbelieving God. God said it, and you say, God, I don't know what you are talking about, but make it happen now. And God says, Me? You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone, and right now, through the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Hallelujah. Listen, I, I, let me just say this before we go to the discussion of tonight. Many people, listen, many people's confidence are tied to their perception of your joy you 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 cannot walk around as though i'm not making it or i'm just laughing but i'm not making do you know if i come here frowning and i say we're in trouble do you know how many people will be discouraged just by this look you say ah we're really in trouble oh. no imagine that i come here i'm just frowning i whisper something to pastor jakes and Jimmy, and then the protocol go outside we come back you will just get up and carry your bible and say something is happening see one of the principles of leadership is that people reflect who you are you have to know this are we together yes people reflect who you are 
you are an angry person always frowning as if the whole world is on your head very soon you start reproducing yourself you're going to see a group of very wild and angry people no jesus is alive and he's in control hallelujah the bible says righteousness peace joy in the holy ghost will characterize the presence of the kingdom please avoid worry i just added your life i added your age by this little 10 minutes talk you will want to know how many people die for nothing just because of worry where will my school fees come from where will my house rent come from where will whatever it is come from when will i buy the car when would this anointing thing land on my life i've been praying does it take this long about this thing should have been working by now no. you have to believe him hallelujah